All right, what's going on everybody? This is a quick tip that I feel like I missed out on during my mini T three-handed casting T pattern YouTube series. Super handy to help teach that dog how to cast the direction we want and elevate the difficulty of the drill before we move on and advance into the full T pattern. Um, but first, do me a favor. Click subscribe, I appreciate it. Maybe leave a comment if you have a question or just give me a thumbs up. If you thumbs down it, go find someone else's video to do that too, I appreciate it. Um, this is a little fancy. She's actually almost done with T pattern, but she's gonna be a good example to, to show you how I'm gonna maneuver and manage a dog on this next segment. I don't really have a name for it. It's just a piece of three-handed casting during your mini T before you go to an advanced T pattern. So I like to kick it off with sending them straight back. Here, girl. Heel. Sit. Sit. Good. Back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this bumper in my hand. Good girl. Here. Heel. Sit. Sit. Good. Back. Now I got this bumper and that bumper, and I'm gonna blow the whistle on her return. Here. So right now, technically she is at the pitcher's mound. Set. We've got first base, second base, third base, pitcher's mound, home plate's back there. When we do full T pattern, that's where we're gonna be. Stop them at the pitcher's mound, cast them where we wanna go. But what I like to do, and what I missed before, set is I'm gonna establish some piles. I'm gonna toss one over here. I've got a white pole and white bumpers over there. And then I'm gonna to toss one over her left shoulder, sit. Here, sit. Good, over. And so because the last bumper thrown was over her left shoulder, she's gonna to wanna to go and get that bird. Good girl, here, here. Set. So let's say the first day you do this, she's gonna anticipate wanting to go to the one at the back pile that I threw last. I'm gonna cast her over, so she's gotta think. Now, I'm gonna reestablish this, set. Back. And she's gotta spin that direction, left, back. A uh, common question that I get asked is, what does it matter? What does it matter which way they turn when they date when you give them a back cast? So why, couldn't I just do right back, right back, right back, right back? Or if I give a right or a left back and they spin either way, what does it matter? My answer is the dog's going to carry, or like let's say you're right-handed dominant. You're going to do more things, throw a football, throw a bumper, pick up and write a, a note with your right hand. Try and do it with your left. So you're gonna always favor one side. And so when you're going through a field running a blind, you're gonna continuously hitch one way. Well, what if the bird's over here and I need to get a left back and you just keep hitching to the right? You're never gonna find it. So it's really important as you advance into running blinds to have a dog that can cast both directions. Okay, so let me show you again. Set, set, throw it over her left shoulder, blow my whistle, over. My casts are nice and slow, nice and smooth. Here, girl, that a baby. Uh, I like to intermix a few straight backs to the back pile in there, so I'm gonna keep this bumper here. Set. Yes, go ahead, set, go ahead. Set, back. That a baby, good dog. This also is practicing her sitting on the whistle. So I'm getting reps. I'm getting reps in on that. So sit. Throw one over here. Throw one over her right shoulder. Sit. Here. Sit. Good. Over. So this is just asking them a little bit more. Instead of just having one pile out and casting or just having the piles out and casting, sit. Now I'm asking them to think a little bit more like she's going to want this one but you gotta go and do that one. So quick and easy, 
not rocket science, but it's definitely elevating their skill level. Good girl, fans. Oh. Elevating their skill level before you go to a full-blown T pattern um, that I had kind of skipped in the process of making the earlier videos. So fetch. Good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Tune in. Tune out. Appreciate you watching. Hup.